Yes, that was the only thing I could come up for an intro. Hello everybody, my name is Amanda and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, um, this week I decided to go back, not that far back, but back, and think about some suppressed memories that I like to just, you know, like, throw away in the very back of my mind and I like, think about them when I'm trying to sleep and and my brain's just like, no, you're going to remember that awful thing that you did and you're going to think about it and you're going to regret it even more than you did when after you did it. So we're going to talk about all that and I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. My first regret happened recently, not recently, not like, wow, happened last week, oh boy, my life's had been different, but in February. And it, like, because of this... It's been like a chain reaction, and some other things have happened. But you know what? I regret this. February is homecoming. Get ready for some angsty teen drama and people holding up signs and saying cheesy lines that are like, I made this sign so you'd have to go out with me to homecoming, or otherwise you're going to look like a jerk. Basically, tell me I'm wrong. So it's homecoming, and there's this guy, and I think he likes me, and you're going to watch this video. Maybe, I'm not sure, but hi. And then he asks me to homecoming, the day of homecoming. No offense. So then he asks me to homecoming, and this is my response. I look at him and I go, uh... For a solid, like, 30 seconds to a minute, I'm just, uh... Completely just freaking out, thinking, Oh, I don't want to ruin a friendship, and I don't know what my feelings are. Oh my gosh, I'm an angsty teen. So then I looked at him, and I said, I'll tell you I'm bad. And then I ran. So then after school, because I had to stay after school because I was going to be playing at the homecoming game, and he said, so do I have an answer? And I looked at him, and I went, I don't want to hurt your feelings. And he's like, it's a no, isn't it? I could just see the disappointment, and I'm like, oh, did I ruin a friendship? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I had no idea what I did. I had no idea what I did. I was like, frick. And then I said no, and then the dance ended up being like, okay, like it wasn't the best. And I feel like, oh, it would have been a lot better. I always said yes, and then... But, you're watching this video, maybe, but, you know, it's all good. My next regret is kind of my fault, but kind of isn't, and is just like, ah, uh, my brain just has no filter sometimes, and it spews out the dumbest and most regrettable crap ever. Well, I'm with my family, and my uncle has a dead friend and then I didn't know this friend was dead and his dead friend has the same name as my older brother and at the time we didn't really like my older brother. Start turning the gears in your head about what could go wrong in that situation when I think he's talking about my brother. So he's telling a story and then he's like yeah I really used to like that guy and then it got quiet. And my mind goes, no filter, and just spews out, keyword, used to. I could feel the glare my mom was giving me. I regret it so much, and it's so mean, because I didn't think he was talking about a dead guy. I thought he was talking about my brother, because they have the same name, and I wasn't sure, and, <laughs> and oh, sorry. So this one is kind of funny, it's a little happier than my other one, but it is also regrettable and embarrassing and just, <sighs> give me a sec, let me just hide my shame. So I'm on the bus and I'm getting off the bus, because when I get off the bus, I get off the bus and then I walk down my road and I go to my house. And I don't know if this bus driver is supposed to say it, but he says, have a good night or have a good weekend whenever someone gets off the bus. As I said, I don't know if he's supposed to say it or if it's just about the kindness of his heart. I get off the bus, and the bus driver says, have a good night. And normally I would say, you as well. But my brain wasn't working that day. And it said, no problem. Have a good night. No problem. I don't know what was going on. I guess it just went, 
We're not going to try today, I'm sorry. So I looked at a bus driver and said no problem when he told me to have a good night. So, so another regret I have explains the scar right... Shoot, where'd it go? Explains the scar right here across my arm. And I was cut out of another video that I had that was um, like my most painful experiences. And this is a scar that I've always had with me. It's just been there and I've never really like liked it. It's just been part of me that I've accepted. And so what happened is in elementary school, all the other girls didn't have hair on their arms. This gets depressing. So all the other girls didn't have hair on their arms. They didn't have hair like I have on my arms. They didn't have all of this. Like their arms were like bare. They were bear clean. They were like a baby's bottom. They look smooth. They look sharp. They look sleek. And I'm thinking, oh, they must shave their arms because I knew from that young of age that women were supposed to be shaving their legs. So I'm like, oh, no one ever told me that you were supposed to shave your arms too. And where someone told me, hey, don't shave your arms. So I'm in the shower and I just pick up the razor. I don't even think twice. And apparently I don't know what direction I'm supposed to go in, because I don't even know what this is. And this is going, like, down my arm to a side. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. But apparently I go, Shh. And I cut myself. And now that's there forever. Hey, it's Amanda. So something happened with my audio during my intro and outro, sorry. And it just kind of just ruined it and made it awful and terrible. So I'm recording this, and make sure to erase that image of me that you just saw out of your brain so that you can actually sleep at night. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button down below, and I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye!